Hi, my name's Derek Webb, a co-founder and co-founder of the Campaign for Fairer Gambling and the Stop the Fobties campaign. One of the licensing objectives of the 2005 Gambling Act is the socially responsible problem gambling objective of prevention of harm to young and vulnerable persons. FOBTs, FOBTs, also known as fixed odds betting terminals, or B2s, are the electronic gaming machines in betting shops that enable roulette at stakes up to £100 every 20 seconds. In a study for the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, the DCMS, in 2007, it says that FOBTs should be closely monitored because of the possibility of problem gambling. The current responsible minister at the DCMS, Hugh Robertson, said in Parliament that common sense suggests it's a major problem, but he needs evidence. The betting shop trade body is the Association of British Bookmakers, the ABB. The CEO of the ABB is Dirk Venix. Mr Venix says there is no evidence of FOBT problem gambling, but Mr Venix is wrong. We have the evidence. The government previously funded the British Gambling Prevalence Survey, the BGPS. There are two secondary pieces of research based on the BGPS. Based on the 2007 BGPS, a piece of research was published in the European Journal of Public Health in August 2011. Let's call this the 2007 evidence. The research compared the 15 activities in the BGPS 2007 including FOBTs. Under the section called Measures, it called FOBTs virtual gaming machines, e.g. virtual roulette, kino, bingo, etc., at a bookmaker's location. The section headed discussion states that virtual gaming machines have the strongest association with gambling-related problems. And remember, that is FOBTs that have the strongest association with gambling-related problems. In July 2010, a summary of this research was published. The section headed results contained two sentences, of which one was, When controlling for involvement, gambling via virtual gaming machine, e.g. virtual roulette, bingo, kino, was the only gambling type that remained significantly and positively associated with disordered gambling. And please remember that it's FOBTs that have the strongest association with disordered gambling. Based on the 2010 BGPS, another piece of research was conducted. Let's call this the 2010 evidence. This research compared 15 different gambling activities and estimated that the percentage of FOBT losses from problem gamblers was 23%. This is over double the estimated percentage of losses by problem gamblers at other leading collated gambling activities. It also estimated that the actual amount lost by FOBT problem gamblers in 2010 was at least £297 million. This is a greater amount than the estimated losses by problem gamblers on several other leading gambling activities combined. There is also a third piece of research based on the BGPS. This was commissioned by the Gambling Commission and conducted by NatSen. The NatSen research was co-authored by Heather Wardle, who also co-authored the 2010 evidence. The NatSen research identifies the 2007 evidence, but does not elaborate on its findings. The NatSen research identifies and thanks three Gambling Commission employees for their comments and contributions throughout the project. It also includes a summary of machines in bookmakers and the most important evidence-based comments are the changing profile of those who play machines in bookmakers has some potentially important implications 
for responsible gambling strategies. Typically, those who are younger receive lower incomes or who are unemployed are more vulnerable to gambling-related harm. This reflects the changing profile of that group. However, the NatSen research then makes a non-evidence-based policy recommendation as follows. Therefore, the profile of those who play machines in bookmakers should continue to be monitored. But the evidence-based policy recommendation should be sensible restrictions should be applied to machines in betting shops to comply with the licensing objective of prevention of harm to the young and vulnerable. In summary, the NatSen evidence, commissioned by the Gambling Commission and based on the BGPS, did not reveal either the 2007 evidence or the 2010 evidence. The DCMS, the Gambling Commission, the Responsible Gambling Strategy Board, the Responsible Gambling Trust, the Association of British Bookmakers and Bookmakers William Hill, Labrooks, Gala Coral, Betfred, Paddy Power, all say there is no evidence of FOBT problem gambling. But the BGPS 2007 extra evidence has been public information on the internet since November 2009 and a summary of the BGPS 2010 extra evidence has been public information on the internet since August 2012. The DCMS has not disclosed if it is aware of this publicly available evidence. The Gambling Commission have over 200 employees and spend over £13 million a year. They are responsible for delivering the licensing objective of prevention of problem gambling. They too have not disclosed if they are aware of this publicly available evidence. Hugh Robertson, sir, you are the responsible minister at the DCMS. Please apply a good governance standard. Please apply the precautionary principle of removing products suspected of causing harm. Please use your common sense. Please immediately place the maximum restrictions you're able to place on FOBT content on betting shop B2 gaming machines. We have the evidence of FOBT problem gambling. Please support our campaign by taking action on our website. Thank you.